Good morning, Year 3. Well done for making it through another week of home learning. Today is your last day for uh, reading, and we are going to be looking at a new text. It's going to be a cold comprehension. So I'm going to show you a text that you haven't seen before. It's going to be a poem, and what we're going to do is we're going to read the poem together, and then you're going to answer some questions on the poem. These questions are a mixture of literal and inference questions. So remember to underline the keywords in the question, look for those keywords in the text or look for clues and then answer the questions. For this activity, you don't have to answer your questions in full sentences. You can just put down the actual answer if it's a word or a phrase. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to share my screen so that you can see that. And let's get started. OK, so we are going to be doing some comprehension and this poem is called Mrs McPhee. So what I can do, if you've printed out the text at home, that's great. If not, then don't worry about it because I've got the text on the screen so you can follow it with me as I'm doing it. OK, Mrs McPhee by Charles Causley. Mrs McPhee, who lived in South Zeal, roasted a duckling for every meal. Duckling for breakfast and duckling for tea. Sorry, let me do that again. Duckling for breakfast and dinner and tea. And duckling for supper, said Mrs McPhee. It's sweeter than sugar. It's clean as a nut. I'm sure and I'm certain it's good for me, but. I wonder, what do you think that but is? What's going to happen next? Maybe you can pause the video now and make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen next in this poem? OK, let's have a look. I don't like these feathers that grow on my back and my silly webbed feet and my voice that goes quack. As easy and soft as a ship to sea, as a duck to water, went Mrs McPhee. I think I'll go swim in the river, said she, said Mrs Mac, Mrs Quack, Mrs McPhee. <gasps> What's happened to Mrs McPhee in this poem? She started off as a human who liked to eat lots of ducklings, but something very interesting has happened to her. Maybe you can pause the video and have a think. What has happened to Mrs McPhee in this second part of the poem? So in the last three stanzas. OK, so moving on to our questions, if you want to have a read of that poem at home by yourself, then go ahead and do so. I'm going to read you the questions and you can answer them. If you want to read them by yourself, that's also fine. Just pause the video now. Make sure you read them out loud to yourself. Go and find the answers in the text and write them down. And once you finish, then you can check your answers and correct them using the answers at the end of this slide. So question number one, what did Mrs McPhee like to eat? OK, what did Mrs McPhee like to eat? You can pause the video after I say each question so you can go back and find the answer in the poem. B, how often did she eat it? Question number two, why does the writer repeat duckling three times in the first two verses? Question number three, what did Mrs McPhee really like about roast duckling? What did she really like about the roast duckling? Think about what she said, how she described it. Question number four. Copy another word from the poem from verse three that means the same as sure. So find a synonym for the word sure. Question number five. Why is but, which you can find in verse three, so you need to go back to the set, the third verse, and here's the but here. Why is the but in verse three written in capital letters? That was question number five, so we're going on to question number six now. What is, this is 6a, what is happening to Mrs McPhee in the second half of the poem? What is happening to Mrs McPhee in the second half of the poem? This is 6B. Copy a line from the poem which tells you this. So you need to provide evidence to support this answer. If you're saying Mrs McPhee has blah, 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 I'm not going to give you the answer. You need to then say, 
find a line in the poem that supports this. Question number seven, as easy and soft as a ship to see, that's found in verse five. So if you go to verse five, you can see it here, as easy and soft as a ship to see. The question is, what does this tell us about Mrs. McPhee going for a swim? So what does that phrase tell us about Mrs. McPhee going for a swim? Question number eight, how do you know Mrs. McPhee doesn't like her new feet? So how do you know that Mrs. McPhee doesn't like her new feet? And question number nine, why does the poem end with the lines, said Mrs. Mac, Mrs. Quack, Mrs. McPhee? Okay, before I show you the answers, let's just have another one more read through the poem. This poem is called Mrs. McPhee. This time I want you to make sure you join in with all of the words and see if you can find the rhythm for this poem. Mrs. McPhee, who lived in South Dill, roasted a duckling for every meal. Duckling for breakfast and dinner and tea and duckling for supper, said Mrs. McPhee. It's sweeter than sugar. It's clean as a nut. And I'm sure and I'm certain it's good for me, but. Turning the page. I don't like these feathers that grow on my back and my silly webbed feet and my voice that goes quack. As easy and soft as a ship to sea, as a duck to the water went Mrs. McPhee. I think I'll go swim in the river, said she, said Mrs. Quack, said Mrs. Mac, Mrs. Quack, Mrs. McPhee. OK, I really enjoyed reading that poem. I hope you did too at home. Uh, make sure you've answered all of the questions. Pause the video now if you have not. Because here are the answers to those questions. I'm not going to read them out to you, so you can read them and just double check that you've got a similar answer to that. For some of the answers, you might have more than one option. For example, for 6B, you could have chosen any line from 13 to 20. OK, I hope you all enjoyed that. See you next week. Bye.